Officers from the 8th Precinct engaged in an officer-involved shooting, stemming from a vehicle pursuit. The following sequence of events is what led to this incident. At approximately 2.37 p.m., 911 operators received multiple calls for service regarding a felonious assault in progress at O'Hare Park. A 911 caller states they observed subjects in a dark gray Jeep fire shots at the victim who was in another dark gray Jeep. Those subjects fled the scene and the second dark colored Jeep was left unoccupied at the location. 911 dispatchers advised scouts in the area to be on the lookout for the vehicle that fled the scene. A second 911 call comes through and the caller states an individual knocked on their door stating he needs help. Dispatch later learns that the individual was involved in the previous felonious assault and the gray Jeep recovered at the initial location is a confirmed stolen vehicle. Officers from the 8th Precinct responded to the call for service, which led to a vehicle pursuit. You are about to hear both calls. Guess what happened? It's two Cherokee Jeeps going down Trojan where Henry Ford is. One of them got out. because I heard a, a bang. I was like, that's a, a gun. I looked out the window. This one young boy, he, he got a, a, like a rifle. He shoots across the park like, I don't know if that's them. Then he jumps. That's what he said to the, his other friends in the Cherokee. Because they, they, got, they got two Cherokee trucks. They like dark gray. They look just alike with dark tinted, like tinted windows. And then he jumped back in. He shot across the par park. He, he talked and then he was walking towards was like, I don't know if that's them, and then they shot off down the street. Now, one of them came right back down the street. Okay, right. one moment. So they were shooting at okay. someone? Yeah, they shot at somebody across the park. And yeah, he so was in a gray Jeep? Happened. Yeah, a gray chair kick in, like, a, it's a newer one. It's two of them. They was following each other. Because I was like, I heard pop, and I said, that's a, that's a, I know that ain't no good. And sure enough, I looked out the window. He, he walking back towards getting back into the car with a, like a rifle, a rifle, shotgun, whichever one. It's not no not hand. You know, like a murder one. Were they black, white, and Hispanic males? They black. Did you see what they were wearing by chance? No. I ain't wasn't paying no attention, no, but I know it looked like his hair was like kind of sticking up. Like, you know how them kids were here. Okay, and they was going down towards Henry Ford off children? Yeah, they, they just went back. Yeah, one of the trucks just came back down Granville right by the high school. So if something happened, I just want to let them know that's, what, that's the kind of truck they was in because it was two of them. Two guys okay. following each other, and, they, and the, the trucks was the same color, gray. Detroit 911, what's the address of your emergency? Tell me exactly what happened. A young man came to my side door, said he needed help. Someone had shot at him, and uh, he ran. Now he he ran back across the street. So I don't know where he went after this. I don't know. I'm not sure if anything or what's going on. Okay, stay on line with me, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Is he still at the location? No, he took off. I told him I was calling uh, the police, uh -huh. and he stood there saying he needed help. Okay. And he just and he took off r running across the back across the street here that that'd be to the west. There's an empty lot between two houses and he went between okay. there. I don't know where he went after that. How uh, old is the patient? Oh, well, I would say the young man was probably twenty maybe not that old. Oh, okay. That old. My husband thinks it's more like fifteen. And you said someone was he was shot at. That's what he said. So okay, can you give me a description of him? Uh, very dark complexion, maybe 120, 30 pounds, very small person. Okay. He dressed in all black. He had on a, something on his head. I don't know if it was a scarf hat. Okay. And you say he looked like roughly around 20, 15 to 25? No, he's, I thought 20. My husband said he was 50, about 15. Okay. And did you see any weapons on him? No. Okay. Carlos says a male seen shooting at people he got in a gray Jeep. He was shooting at someone in the park. Probably one hit a fan progress. 832, radio to 832. 832. Yes, sir, I got a, a FM progress here, party one. At so there are men been shooting at people, and he got into a gray Jeep here. Says he's armed with a shotgun. Also, I see. I do not have a.
We do not have a description. Both black males, unknown what they're wearing, they took off towards Henry Ford Hospital on Trojan. Nothing further at this time. Be advised, 835, 832, I'm getting a shot fired in progress. Female caller says there was a male that knocked on her door, says he needed help. Hey, then, Pat. Hey, then, Pat. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, for me on the shots for her, we got a Jeep in the middle of the park. You say on the shot? The vehicle is going to be a Jeep, compass, gray in color, unoccupied. Oh, you got, you got eyes on that Jeep? This might be, in, uh, might be in conjunction. Yeah, 14. Do we get any description on the mails? That is a negative, sir. Uh, let me try this callback. I got a couple of callback numbers. All right, 14. Uh, all right, Aiden Peck, this is going to be a confirmed stolen vehicle. Aiden Peck, sit on that. Let me get that plate number again. Six, sit on that, and that is a confirmed stolen vehicle. Let's uh, get a description. Whoever the driver of this vehicle was, possibly on foot in the area. Officers in Scout Car A, driving northbound on Evergreen Road, observed a dark-colored Jeep from the advisory driving southbound. The officers made a U-turn and activated the vehicle's lights and sirens, initiating a vehicle stop. The subjects in the SUV continued southbound on Evergreen, which initiated a vehicle pursuit. The subjects made a westbound turn onto Pembroke Avenue, making several traffic violations. The vehicle was traveling at a high rate of speed through a residential area, causing potential danger. The officer's radio can be heard and dispatch confirms the other dark gray Jeep was stolen and left unoccupied at O'Hare Park. The vehicle pursuit continues as the subjects make a southbound turn onto Blackstone Street. The subjects continue to make several traffic violations running through stop signs at a high rate of speed. The individuals driving the gray Jeep made a westbound turn onto Seven Mile into a heavily vehicle traffic roadway. The chase continues when the subjects make a southbound turn onto Chapel in a busy intersection entering back into a residential area. Officers in Scout Car A continue to follow the subjects as they turn eastbound onto Clarita and then making a northbound turn onto Bentler. The subjects continue to drive recklessly, swerving to avoid a collision and hit a trash can. Officers in Scout Car B turned down Bentler to assist with the pursuit and was met head on by the gray Jeep. The subjects, attempting to avoid yet another collision, made a hasty decision to veer off the road to evade the police. The subjects re-entered the roadway and disregard a red light as they crossed Seven Mile. The subjects continued driving recklessly, northbound on Bentler in a residential area at an even higher rate of speed. The vehicle comes to an abrupt stop and five subjects exit the vehicle running in different directions. Officers also exit their vehicle leading to a foot pursuit. This is a slow motion playback of when the subjects exited the vehicle. Officers in Scout Car A observed the driver exit the vehicle armed with a long gun. The driver continues to run westbound towards a residence and discarded the weapon on the property. Officers in Scout Car B, assisting with the vehicle pursuit, were driving eastbound on Seven Mile and made a southbound turn onto Bentler. Once they made their turn onto Bentler, they were met head-on with subjects driving the gray Jeep. The subjects continue driving forward towards the scout car and the driver of the gray Jeep points a long gun out the window. The subjects in the SUV continue to evade the officers and drive on the sidewalk. Officers in Scout Car B made a U-turn to continue assisting with the pursuit. At this time, you're watching the surveillance camera from a local business that captured this incident on camera. As the subjects continue to drive northbound on Bentler, the driver of the SUV can be seen aiming a long gun out of the driver's side window. Officers continue the pursuit. Upon encountering the driver of the vehicle armed with a rifle, the officer driving Scout Car B exits the vehicle and fires two shots from his department issue weapon. The shots fired by the officer took effect to the passenger in the vehicle. 
At this time, you are watching a slow motion playback which shows the driver of the gray Jeep pointing a rifle outside the window in the direction of scout car B. The officer fires shots at the vehicle. Maybe lower, but below the knee, maybe. Officers are seen rendering aid to the subject that sustained a graze wound to the right leg. The subject was transported by EMS to a local hospital for non-life-threatening injuries. An independent witness stated that they heard gunshots fired from the subject's vehicle. All five subjects were eventually apprehended on scene. A rifle was recovered from the driveway where the driver of the gray jeep fled.